welcome to my lecture today uh, we are going to uh, see how to derive the equation for finding acceleration of the piston okay so because uh, as far as inertia force is concerned uh, we need to know the acceleration of the piston to find out the inertia forces which are acting on the piston okay so if you want to find out the uh, inertia forces we know that inertia forces is equal to mass times acceleration so we need to find out the acceleration of the piston so that we can find the inertia forces which are acting on the piston okay so the ultimate objective of, of finding the acceleration of the piston is to determine the inertia forces which are acting on the piston that is why we have to find out the acceleration of the piston okay so this is a slider crank mechanism so here initially the piston is uh, at this position that is at p dash okay so the theta value will be zero and phi value will also be zero okay so initially the piston is at uh, p dash and then it start to move towards this direction okay and then the distance it has covered from p dash to p is x okay so it is a displacement of the reciprocating body from p from idc okay this point is inner dead center okay so here it, this is the inner dead center and this is the outer dead center okay and we all know that l represent length of the connecting rod and r represent the radius of the crank and n is the ratio of length of connecting rod to the radius of crank that is l divided by r okay so theta is the angle tanned by the crank from the inner dead center okay so when the piston uh, started moving from p dash so here the crank angle uh, is obtained from this line of stroke so that is theta okay this is the angle tanned by the crank from the inner dead center similarly here the phi represent the inclination of the connecting rod to the line of stroke PO. okay so these are all the parameters that uh, we need to remember uh, before deriving the equation of uh, velocity and acceleration of the piston okay and here uh, the displacement of the piston is obtained by finding the distance between p dash to p okay that is the x okay it is the displacement of the piston for this instant because here the t, uh, the crank has traveled to theta angle and the piston has traveled x distance from p dash that is idc okay so this distance is p dash p okay which is equal to okay, o p dash minus o p okay so this x distance can be found by subtracting this o p from o p dash and also we know that o p dash what is that o p dash is here o p dash is equal to p dash c dash plus c dash o okay so this entire thing represents o p dash okay and then o p so where is o p here is o p o p which is equal to p q plus q o okay p q plus q o so okay, this is what that uh, equation means okay so x is the displacement that is the distance between p dash to p so this can be found by this representation okay so next thing is uh, we know that uh, this term that is p dash c dash this which represent the length of the connecting rod l and this c dash to o which represent the radius of the crank so here we have replaced this p dash c dash, c dash by l and c dash o by r okay minus then pq this is the term that pq pq is l cos 5 
plus q o is r cos theta q o is r cos theta okay so how it is found by using that uh, trigonometric concept that we know okay so say for example uh, so i've just taken this triangle okay that is p c q okay and this is the angle phi okay this is the angle phi and that this is the l okay so what is cos phi cos pi is equal to adjacent side that is this side divided by l okay and this term becomes that is l cos pi okay so the pq is l cos pi pq is l cos pi similarly by using the trigonometric concept we can find out q0 which is equal to r cos theta okay so we have replaced pq with l cos pi and qo with r cos theta in the previous equation okay so the next thing is so i just taken this r outside from the equation so r uh, multiplied by 1 minus cos theta plus here i'm just taking l outside l multiplied by 1 minus cos phi okay and now uh, i'm just going to uh, consider that r common to all these equations so here i'm just taking r outside so 1 minus cos phi cos theta plus so here there is no r so i have added it here that is l by r 1 minus cos pi okay so the both the equations are same okay for uh, deriving the displacement so we have just taken this r commonly outside from this equation and then i just found this equation okay and here uh, we know that this is l by r is n okay so this is the ratio okay the n represents the ratio between length of the connecting rod to the radius of the crank okay so i will just replace it with n okay l by r which is equal to n okay fine so now uh, similarly i just want to know this uh, sine phi value okay sine phi value for that i'm just going to take uh, these triangles that is cpq that is cpq and cqo that is cqo just like that what we have done for the previous case so i just uh, found this equation that is l by r is equal to sine theta divided by sine phi okay using trigonometry uh, concept okay so from that i just found l by r is equal to n and n is equal to sine theta divided by sine phi or we can just represent sine phi which is equal to sine theta divided by n so it is uh, one of the important finding that we need to remember while solving the problem okay because in most of the problem we will be given theta value we have to find out the phi value so how to find out the phi value by using this formula okay sine phi is equal to sine theta divided by n okay so only the crank angle will be provided in the problem so we have to find out the phi value so by using this relation okay so it's fine so now uh, i'm just uh, rewriting this equation that is the displacement equation by replacing this 1 minus cos phi with sine square theta divided by 2n square so this uh, finding is obtained using binomial theorem okay so i don't want to get into this uh, entire concept i've just taken this results okay uh, to derive the displacement relation for a for the piston okay so 1 minus cos pi which is equal to sine square theta divided by 2n square okay so i have just replaced this term here okay that is 1 minus cos pi so here in the previous things we have a 1 minus cos pi so we have replaced that 1 minus cos pi with sine square theta divided by 2n square okay so now here n uh, this won't get cancelled okay so we get the displacement of the piston okay so x is equal to r multiplied by 1 minus cos theta plus sine square theta divided by 
to n okay so this is the important thing that we have to remember okay so it is a displacement of the piston okay fine and then now we must know what is the velocity of the piston so we know the velocity is the derivative of the displacement with respect to time okay so uh, by differentiating the displacement with respect to theta we can find out the velocity of the piston okay the velocity of the piston is omega r multiplied by sin theta plus sin 2 theta divided by 2n okay so omega is the angular angular velocity of the crank okay fine so now acceleration of the piston can be found by differentiating the velocity with respect to theta okay again i'm just going to differentiate this velocity equation with respect to theta okay so we're getting the acceleration is omega square r cos theta plus cos 2 theta divided by n okay so this is the equation which shows acceleration of the piston so the these relations that is displacement velocity and acceleration of the pistons are to be uh, known while solving the problem because our ultimate aim is to find out the energy of force i told you in the initially okay so we are going to find out the energy of forces which are acting on the piston so before finding the uh, energy of forces of the piston we must know what is the value of acceleration then only we can substitute this relation while finding energy of forces which are acting in the piston okay so this is the thing that i just want to share with you today uh, with this i am just concluding okay